This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate. So here's Muhammad Ali making the walk to the octagon with much fanfare. A lot of people thought this moment would never materialize. I don't believe it. You know, when people talk about the GOAT, it's always a conversation with people having opinions. Very rarely do you get a person almost universally considered the greatest of all time. That is what you get in Muhammad Ali when people talk about boxing. The guy has unbelievable hand speed, footwork, but it'll be his takedown defense that will allow him to find success inside the octagon. We're about to find out what the greatest can do, John, in an eight-sided cage. And you're right, most heavyweights in this division are gonna test his takedown defense, but plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. We'll see how it goes for Ali here tonight. Muhammad Ali ready to make another major statement here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't crack or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Good punch. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, nice, nice hook. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Block that punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it tall. I mean, right away, no feeling, no process. These boys just went and started fighting. Good punch, man. Nice straight right, Lance. It won't take many of those. Take that double jab out there. Oh, hook to the head by Ali. Beautiful jab there by Champ. Oh, nice jab. 
Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Ali. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. It's a pretty good jab. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this round. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Clean punch. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, great block there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Muhammad Ali gets caught by the straight punch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Less than two minutes now to go. Closing up. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Back and forth we go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. That's punch followed by a right nice one-two there by Ali. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Done. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, big left hook there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swell. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he Oh, got to keep pressing here. And now another being thrown on both sides. 
Defensively responsible, nice block. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed. He continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have to oh, oh, this could just about do it. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shut before too long. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, big left. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. He just does a fantastic job of finding the hook. He's hurt. He's hurt. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Roy McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight. Oh, no. There's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come, and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. Oh, man! Oh, man. That cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So the amount of blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Just misses with the straight right. Final seconds here. All right, round three coming up next. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high octane output on both sides. And Candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse.
Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in... Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title.